Hello everyone, Farof17 here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be trying out Junk Jack for the iPad. And as you can see on the screen, this is the menu. Now, Junk Jack is kind of like Terraria, which is basically a 2D Minecraft. And I've played this for a while. As you can see, I've played World 1, right? It says Enter a World, and I've found it lots of fun. It is available in the App Store for, I believe, about $3. I will put a link in the little corner or sidebar somewhere on here and it'll be in the description so we're going to create a new world <clears throat> and voila here we are now the way it says is down here in the bottom left hand corner is your inventory next to it is the uh, instruction book which gives you an idea of how things work and all that and then a little map which you can zoom in and out on so we'll zoom out real quick and that's what the surface world looks like now I don't know if this world is infinite or not but yeah I don't know exactly how big this world gets I know there's bedrock at the bottom like Minecraft but it's very long way down um, and you can see up here on the right hand side is my inventory and upper left is the pause and my health so I'm gonna start out by getting some wood collecting some wood and we got let's see nice thing is it has a little info so we got tree sapling leaf and wood so I'm going to punch down some trees. Ugh. Oh, I jumped up in the tree. Now you will take fall damage, I believe, about two blocks. It really depends on how the fall happens, because sometimes I fall in three blocks without getting any fall damage. So I don't know if that's glitch or not, but I'm going to beat up this bird. Die, bird! Oops, I pushed. He died, but I got some uh, wood too. Place two blocks of wood. So you see you can put wood in the background. Oops, I just did it again. See, so you can put, I better switch my thing. You can put wood in the background and the foreground. So when you dig, for instance, if I dig up this coal dirt block, you see now there's coal in the background. I can't get that without a pickaxe. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a pickaxe if I remember how. I think it's like Minecraft in this sense. Yep. Later on, I'll need a crafting bench or a what is it called in um, a anvil yeah an anvil for metal pickaxes so I'm just arranging my inventory real fast moving my blocks of wood and dirt and all that okay so I got a pickaxe I can get this coal so let's get all this coal there some more dirt I'll make a quick wood shovel no 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 first I'm gonna kill this pink bird I don't like pink birds Die, pink birdie. Blue birdie. Oops. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to take down one more tree, and then I'll head underground. Because that's where all the fun is. Under the surface is where all the fun is. Yeah. So, let's make a shovel, which I believe. See, wood planks make, uh, I mean, wood makes wood planks, which wood planks can be used to make uh, smaller wood planks. And there we go, we got a shovel. Let's dig. Craft your first shovel. Yes, I did. Okay, so... Um, why don't we go over here? And in this game, you can dig straight down. Because it's perfectly safe. Ooh. Oh, one more thing is the hat. You can purchase hat upgrades, and I have one. My hat will randomly drop arrows every once in a while. It's kind of weird. You can, I can switch it later and show you the other things it can do. So apparently I can't break this with this pickaxe, so I'm going to have to go around it for now. Down, down, oops, that was a mistake. And the nice thing is you just do this to get up. So instead of digging there, I'm going to go look for some actual stone, and I'll make a stone pickaxe before I actually dig. So in this, I can either just tap the block with my finger really fast, or I can hold down. It's just a setting that you have to set up to hold down one of the options so I'm gonna get this uh, stone here also the more upgraded you get your tools the farther the reach is so I could break blocks like four blocks away and you can place blocks anywhere on the screen that you can see as of right now so yeah I'll show you so for instance this dirt see I can place some dirt right up uh, right there no matter but I can't break it cuz now I'm too far away from it and I already broke my pickaxe but I have eight stones, so I will oops, make another pickaxe. 
boop a doop deep 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 a doop boop. Aha! Stone pickaxe. Actually, I'll make two. Also, nice thing is you can stack stuff. Um, so if I do this and this and this, boom, I can stack pickaxes. Now I got two pickaxes up there. Ugh, get out of there. Thank you. So let's get a little bit more stone. All right, that's good for resources. No, we dig down. Ooh, wait, wait. First, I'm gonna uh, stupid branch. First, I'm gonna beat up the sheep. Get some wool. Love the wool. So dig, 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 dig. Oops. Punch, 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 punch. punch. And there's our first enemy. It's a green slime. And the ram's gonna fall on my head. So before that, I'm gonna build a stone shovel. And jeez, you can't break this with this pickaxe. Okay, I picked a bad spot. Bye, bye, sheep. So long, sucker. I'm gonna dig down right here, cause I need some more powerful tools to break through that. It's kind of weird how it's so close to the surface. So you can literally dig down all the way to bedrock, pretty much, unless you hit some impenetrable stuff. And here's a, a skull slime th ball thingy. And yeah, what did we get? We got nothing. Ooh, there's some coal. Um, before we get in, go any farther, I'm going to craft a couple torches. Which is basically just putting coal and sticks anywhere there is around here. So let's make some torches. And there we go, ten torches. And we'll place this arrow. And the nice thing about torches is you can place them anywhere on the screen. So if I want to, I can put one all the way up top. But instead, I'm going to put one right there. And a birdie came down to join me. Okay, so... There's some coal. I'm gonna. Oops, I broke the torch. I'm gonna get this uh, coal, and then I'll continue my one block hole. And see how there's now coal behind the scenes right up here? So if I get up there again, I can use my shovel, and I got that coal. Can you come down with me, Green Parrot? Yay, Green Parrot's joining me. Diggy, diggy hole. More coal. And. Purple slime! When you break slimes, they get smaller, and they drop slime balls. You can make colored torches out of slime balls. So, actually, I'm gonna go grab this coal real quick. Yeah. I need a. I better just save my shovel for the, uh. Behind the scene. Before the. For the behind the scenes stuff, I'll just use my fist for now. Fist. To dig. So, we're gonna switch to my CD fist. Now this is the way I used to do it. I did it. Let's just use my fist. Oops. This is the way when I first tried this out, I didn't really realize how good tools were. But the annoying thing about tools is how much, uh, how easily these stone tools will wear down. So you can tell I'm already almost through the pickaxe. But that's why you get better stuff, like iron. And let's see. There's it goes iron, bronze, at a no, iron, bronze, silver, gold, mithril, adamant, adamant, or something like that. But but that last one is so rare, I've only seen it once, and I've played this game for a couple hours. Just, you know, trying it out, seeing if it was worthy of a YouTube series, or to see if it was possible. If you guys have seen this video, then it's possible, because I've, all, I've had some audio sync issues. And I just got a random arrow. And here's one of my issues. Is this stuff is impenetrable? Ooh, we can see iron and bronze.